I can do it. I can, can I, you do I, it? I, I, Hi, folks. <laughs> we are at the site where Pat Garrett was killed. This marker here is built by his son Jarvis Garrett sometime in the 1930s, I think it was. The story is Garrett, Carl Adamson, and Wayne Brazell were heading into Las Cruces from Garrett's ranch. They were in a dispute about some goats. And uh, Garrett, Adamson, and Brazell, two of them were in a buggy and the other was on a horse. And they stopped here, some say to relieve themselves, read into that. And while they were here, Pat Garrett was killed. Brazil and Adamson, after he was killed, continuing to Las Cruces, they go to the deputy sheriff, Felipe Lucero. Brazil admits to killing Garrett, but it was self-defense, he said. And Adamson backed up the story. Of course, there are those who believe that Garrett was killed by a sniper. A sniper on that ridge up here. Somewhere on that ridge. Some say there was a sniper up there. And that's who shot Garrett and this whole thing was planned. They would stop here intentionally and the sniper would shoot Garrett. Well, I don't know. There are all kinds of people who wanted to kill Garrett. I think Albert Fall was behind the whole thing, but he didn't do the shooting. Who actually did the shooting? Brazil confessed. There was a trial. Self-defense. He was acquitted. What are you going to do? He was defended by Albert Fall from the Mexico and El Paso thing. So, there you go. Pat Garrett killing site. Right there. We have with us. We have with us today. Introduce yourself. Oh, Patricia Kidney, head of Concordia Heritage Association and a member of the El Paso <laughs> County Historical Commission. And joining us are... John Garrett. And Debbie Garrett. Relation? No, no. <laughs> you know, We're not no, to sure. Garrett. <laughs> We're not sure if they are. Yeah, There's one of those little coincidences. They joined us out here, met us at the McDonald's up there. So, thanks for coming. Thanks Thank for, you for having, having us. us. Woo, yay. Oh, Oregon Mountains in the background. It's a very nice area. A lot of ATVs come up over here. I've seen them. Now, somebody left a marker here that said, go 50 feet ahead. And there will be another marker. Upon further research, it says, this is not the murder site of Pat Garrett. Well, okay, we'll go 50 feet further. Apparently somebody put arrows, made oh, arrows out of rocks oh here. There's another one. And you go over here, and here is a paper arrow that says go over here. So we go over here, and it says go back 50 feet to where you were, you will see a cement marker with two angle irons, you're there. Well, is it there or is it here? We have been spoofed. These people are very confusing. So there's another sheet here. That says, Happy 108th, Pat Garrett, Six Guns and Shady Ladies. Oh, it's Myra and Jerry. Gerald, Myra, Gogi, and Vince, 228.16. <laughs> so we know these people, and we're going to see them today. Yes. So we'll have to ask them what the heck is going on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's part of our silly group. And oh, by the way, they're leaving trash out here. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I would love to ride out here on horseback and do this. That would be fun. Yeah. I love this idea. I usually park back there and walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we don't know. Garrett was, uh, they were coming along somewhere. Probably heading that way. They're from, from Oregon. Yeah, they were coming from the Oregon Mountains and Pat Garrett's ranch. Like I said, they were having a, Garrett and Brazil and Adamson were having a dispute about some goats. And they came along here. Now possibly along up through here, maybe. Or maybe down here. Not really sure. Like 
Many things about the Garrett killing, a lot of mystery. Maybe coming up this way, perhaps. Who knows what it was like 108 years ago. Or maybe they were coming along here. We don't know. Maybe came along that way. But, you get a good look at the ridge there. I did some research on Pat Garrett. Of course, he's very famous for killing Billy the Kid. But other than killing Billy the Kid, what did he really do? Well, not much. He failed at every business attempt he had, which included horse racing, at raising, raising race horses in Uvalde, Texas, with future Vice President John Nance Garner. He had all kinds of schemes. He had a water scheme out this way. There was his goat thing. Uh, he was customs collector in El Paso for a few years until Teddy Roosevelt basically fired him because he hung around with saloon keepers. I'll close up here it says P. Garrett. Sorry. P. Garrett. Over there it says February 1908. There's something back to. Yeah, February 1908 again in the back. Apparently these these two irons got cut off. Is that pipe up there? Yes, there's a pipe back there too. I don't know if that has anything to do with this. Maybe not. I know. Or maybe a Who knows? Patricia put these colorful fake flowers on there. Oh, oh look what we've got. We've got, well, we a, we have. Uh -huh. We've got a Pat Garrett rig this made is by. A, this is McNellis. Made by the El Paso Saddlery, Bobby McNellis's group. Yeah, let's put that down there in that picture. The gun is a 45, not a 44-40. Ah, well. But, but, and it's never been shot. Mm -hmm. I've never put a bullet in it. Oh. Whoa. I got, they asked me what kind of gun I had when they made this. I mm -hmm. said, I don't have a gun for it. Make it just exactly okay. like Pat's. Yeah. Hang on just a minute. Tuck the, the belt. And on the belt buckle it says July 14, 1881, Fort Sumner, New Mexico. When Billy was killed. That's the date that the kid was killed and the place when Garrett killed him. In the home of Pete Maxwell. Right. Unless you believe Brushy Bill, which we don't. <laughs> you want me to do that for you? I can reach yeah. out. Yeah. See if you can reach. I mean, we got to tidy okay. up this. Tidy up. That's great. Much better. Are you still are you photographing? Go ahead. I just don't want my butt. No, you go. I, know, I just picture. didn't want my butt as I've been the Our best features? Our best, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's great. Let me find you. Where are you? Hello. Why can't I find the gun belt? Oh, there it is. Did you get it? Did you find it? I found it. Yes. Very good. <laughs> I kind of, I used to belong to the sheriff's posse in El Paso, oh, yeah. and we would ride and I, we would carry our guns, and I put that hammer so it wouldn't fall out, yeah. which is not supposed to be on there, and I probably screwed it up. Uh, but I was sitting in my office one day, and there was a, 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 a publisher, editor from the Alamogordo newspaper, hmm? and we were talking about it, and he said the reason they didn't, they they didn't have those hammer safeties because when they rode, they would slide their holster this way and hold their gun right here. And I never knew that, and I'd already put that uh, I heard of that one. Put that safety so I wouldn't lose it riding around out there yeah, really. in Annapra when we'd go out there and play cowboys on Sunday morning. Yep. 
place. But I'll tell you some beautiful leather work. They did one. It's a heck of a... Yes, they do good work. <coughs> we have a friend who works there. I saw... Huh? We have a friend who works there. At, at uh, the salary? Yeah. <laughs> One, that one Sunday afternoon, I put my dad back on the airplane to Houston, and I came home, and there was a special on television about this. Mm -hmm. And the next morning, I was at their El Paso Saturday before they opened, and, and McNellis said they have one left that hadn't, they made 300 of them. And number one was for Reagan, and number two was for Jarvis, mm -hmm. and they were all decorated up. Sure. And uh, he said, I've got well, one left. And I'm looking for my ball and the pine trees and I, I, I paid them. for it, right? It cost $300. Yeah, paid yeah. for it right then. Yep. You, for you, see you even. Yeah, see. So, but you only grow up. Pretty That's fancy. supposed to be his holster. Yeah. 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 The Garrett rig yep. that they make. Yeah. That is too, too, that is such a, nobody else will have that picture. But I can't wear it anymore. That's where we came from. Yeah, bigger belt. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Well, just get it widened. We are friends with... The, uh, El Paso Saturday bunch. Show you where we came from. You follow those uh, follow those poles, and that's where we came from. We tried to shoot a video from there, but the camera pooped out on us. Oh, that's what she Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's beautiful. What a nice day to get out here before the wind. Yeah, really. So beautiful. Well, see, we tried to come in from the other side. The day we were here was on the 17th. How do you access it from the other side? Uh, we went to the uh, Farm and Ranch Museum, went past that. We went to the high school that's over there. And we came up that road. And we went down a power line, a power right. line road. Right. And we we came pretty close. Was there a place that was impassable? Uh, no. There, there is a way you can do it. This road... Following that road, You'll come you out. get on it that, that highway that goes past the school. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you know where to turn off, you can hook up with this road, but it's way out there. Yep. And it would take you way longer than this oh, way. It, yeah, this is m the closest. Yeah. yeah. So there is an alternate route here. But well, we tried it's once to find it on our own, and we couldn't. We didn't know where we were going. Well, we I, I was out here in '91, first time, and I remembered the double power line. Mm -hmm. So every time I came out after that, I would say, let's I remember go that. down the double power. But and we tried that a couple off, times. But yeah. see, I didn't then mm -hmm. angle off to the right, to the single power The double power line. lines are back over that way. Mm -hmm. Coming in this yeah. yeah, we have a jogger coming in this way. Yes. Yeah. What subdivisions do you, do you know who is trying to develop out here? No, we just know this. We don't know anything about this at this all. Be, well, that's my job to find out since I'm in the real estate. Some Mesa Blondie people out there. Well, it's not going to happen anytime soon. The economy is too slow here. Well, but they've been slowly expanding this way. Yeah. Slow. But the new builds are not doing well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have a jogger coming. Good morning. Hi, jogger. Hello. Hey, where do you go down that way? Do you I'm keep, sorry? Do you go all the way? Is there a road down there? The road goes all the way to the A Mountain. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a great run. Well. Have fun. Well, she's tough. Well, what do you think, folks? Good day. Oh, this you. is a Thank good you. day. It's a good day for honoring Pat Garrett's hey. life. We're, we tried to get here on the 29th, the actual day, but Patricia's car decided to break, <laughs> so we didn't. And you had a meeting. It was <laughs> I had a stupid meeting. There, so. so anyway. Well, okay, so we're going to sign off now. Bye-bye, folks. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. How you doing? Thank you.